Hello, we're uh, very, very excited about uh, ArcGIS Sunline and the possibilities it that represents for mobile. Uh, we're a company called WebMap Solutions. We build mobile applications, uh, location-focused applications, but GIS is an important piece of our, of our pie. We've been building mobile apps for GIS and location-based services for about a year now. Um, ArcGIS Online presents lots of exciting possibilities for actually loading maps onto mobile devices and we just wanted to walk through the steps it takes to do that. We've actually got a blog in support of this video so um, this is supporting some of the, the text we've included in the blog but uh, for those that haven't, aren't reading the blog what you're looking at here is basically um, actually let me just move back a page this is this is the viewer when you when you log into ArcGIS Online um, you're actually presented with it with a the, the ability to uh, add shape files or, or other file types to a, a base map we've just taken a simple base map added some Utah data this is all in pipeline data um, and then what we did was we simply um, saved it and then we wanted to share it so as of uh, we've generated a viewer there's the viewer um, and again we can we can do we can pan and zoom etc um, but the important piece and you won't be able to see this in the video is the the web map ID at the top um, that's uh, that's the reference point to that particular map so let's uh, or web map let's just let me just uh, change the view of the camera and bring in um, this is actually a an, an, an Android phone um, the application that uh, or the applications we have been building over the last we while well, we've been doing native apps but a lot of them we've been doing a lot of um, cross-platform apps so this is one bit built in um, flex mobile um, we've done variations on this Geo mobile for ArcGIS is our uh, free application that's out in the uh, in the various app stores this is a variation on that just to prove the point uh, that you can actually load ArcGIS web maps uh, ArcGIS online web maps into a mobile device this actually uses a configuration file it loads the map you can see the map there Let's just uh, zoom in. Now the uh, the, Arc, the free ArcGIS so, um, app that's out there, you can actually do the same sort of things. You can actually load these layers onto a, a mobile device. The difference in this situation is that we're actually building a cross-platform solution. So this application will run across multiple devices. It will run on a Apple devices, uh, BlackBerry devices, and, and Android devices as well. So, so there's a difference from what uh, Esri are doing and others are doing. The other thing that we uh, we like we, we wanted to do here was to um, to actually include uh, tools. So uh, we've actually got an annotation widget here. We've got a whole bunch of what we call geo geo mobile widgets um, or geo widgets. This one is a markup widget, as I said. So uh, this actually allows you to mark up the um, the uh, ArcGIS Online uh, web map, and then you can save that data off. So let's. Uh, Let's just go ahead and do. Uh, let's choose one of these icons here, so you can actually you can change the color and the various other pieces of the markup. Let's just close that for the second, so we give ourselves more real estate, and then let's just drag that on the map. So there you have it. You've actually got ArcGIS loaded with any any different forms of data that ArcGIS Online supports, so CSV, WMS, uh, ArcGIS endpoints, shape files. Um, and then we've added tools on top, and that that's uh, essentially what we're going to be doing or are doing for clients now, um, is es essentially extending functionality of what you've got there on mobile, um, and providing um, users with specific workflows. Thanks for watching.